Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about table relationships or table references, so how tables are related to each other, and just how Xano makes it easy to uh, visualize this and select what data you want to view uh, in a table reference. So let's start out here in my deals app. I'm on the database page and you can see I have four different tables here and here is the schema view. Uh, so all the different columns and their data types. I can also, in this top right here, toggle the table references. So we'll just see the uh, table IDs and the table references and other tables, and we'll have a mapping with these arrows to see how they're related. Uh, so for example, here in the deal table, we can see there's this merchant ID, which maps to the merchant table. In the ledger, we can see we have a user ID that maps to the user and a deal ID that maps to the deal table. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna to toggle this off. And now I'm gonna go ahead and look at this deal table. And we're gonna look at this table reference to the merchant ID. So when I click in here, we can see that this data is being displayed from the merchant table. So we can see here is something like, uh, that might be the merchant name, looks like a description, and maybe also uh, the ID number in that actual merchant table. So the really cool thing about Xano is, you know, if I wanna go ahead and add a new uh, table reference here, if I click into this field, we get this nice autocomplete dropdown. Um, tells me what the current value is because I already have a value in that field. But look, we can actually, I can just move my arrow keys and select from this list of the most recently added merchant records. I can also simply just do a search either based on um, the ID number or I can start typing out to match some of uh, those different fields that are being displayed here. So it makes it very easy to visualize the data that's important to you that you want to see instead of just a integer referencing what record number that is. And you can also manipulate which data is going to be displayed here in this table reference. And the way to do that is we actually need to go to uh, the table that's being referenced. So here I can go to the merchant table to change how this merchant ID is being displayed. I'll go back. I'll go to my merchant table. And if I go to the menu icon here in the top right and go to autocomplete, we can see I have some customization set up. So I have the name, the description, and then the ID all set up. I can actually uh, remove these and there will be a default setup. So if I hit save and I wanna go back to my deal table, we'll see that the default setup will be the first uh, text column in your table along with the ID number. So let's go back. I'll show you some more of the customization here in the merchant table. If I go ahead back to merchant table into autocomplete, I can hit customize. Now I can choose which columns I want to display. Let's say I actually want uh, the photo to be first. And now let's do something, let's say the name, and maybe that's all I want. I'll hit save. And now if we go back to the deal table and look at that reference to the merchant ID, you can see the data will be displayed as I just set it up. So here's the picture and then the name. And once again, if I go ahead and I wanna search, I can still search for uh, the ID number, which is very helpful, even though it's not being displayed. And once again, I can still uh, search for uh, the other displayed fields. So once again, Xano makes it easy to visualize how your relationships are mapped together with this toggle table reference option here. And then also within the table view, uh, you get that nice visualization of uh, the actual data from the table being referenced. And you can also customize it uh, within that table in the autocomplete setting. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.